Hello, wastrels, and welcome to Kato's Countdowns. I'm Kato Genesis, and this is a little experiment I'm trying out. In this countdown, I'll be listing 10 of the most powerful rifles when it comes to base damage in Fallout New Vegas. This includes its expansions, and where you can find them yourself, too. Shall we begin? We start with the powerhouse formerly wielded by Randall Clark, the Survivalist's Rifle. It's a unique variant of the service rifle that does close to three times the damage, but is also loaded with the more uncommon 12.7mm rounds. The Survivalist Rifle's base damage is 48, and it has a high rate of fire, putting this firearm in the top five in damage per second for rifles as well. The main downside of the Survivalist Rifle, excluding the ammo, is the misaligned iron sights. You can compensate by aiming down the right side of it, or if you have the means, simply download a mod to correct it. The Survivalist Rifle can be gained from the Honest Hearts expansion for New Vegas. When you travel to Zion Canyon, there's a location here called the Red Gate, and that is where you find Randall Clark's final resting place, as well as his rifle in a nearby duffel bag, provided nearby tribals didn't take it to use themselves, which is definitely a possibility. The 44 Magnum Lever Action Trail Carbine, a relatively easy to acquire power hitter with an option to modify it with a scope. The pros don't stop there. This weapon is also cheap to repair and incredibly durable, letting you fire close to 2500 shots until it needs to be fixed. This rifle's base damage, like the Survivalist rifle, is also 48, but the Trail Carbine's rate of fire is slower. Most other rifles on this list have a better damage output, but they cannot boast the same lifespan of this trusty long arm. If you're looking to pick up a trail carbine yourself, the Vendertron at the Gunrunners starts carrying them once you reach level 11. You can also get it off of the Viper gang members in Bonnie Springs, but only in the first encounter with them. The Gobi Scout Rifle needs no introduction, unless it's introducing bullets to skulls. This is one of the two unique sniper variants on this list, and while the other one has a higher damage per shot, this sniper rifle supports a higher rate of fire, putting the Gobi Campaign Scout Rifle just barely on top of the sniper rifles in damage per second. Its base damage, surprisingly, is the same as a Survivalist Rifle and Trail Carbine, 48. Even though its durability is decent, repairs might prove to be a challenge because enemies rarely wield sniper rifles, which will force the player to mitigate the maintenance with repair kits, getting the jury rigging perk, or just paying a vendor to fix it. The Gobi Campaign Scout Rifle's high bullet output partnered with its naturally low spread and low AP cost makes it a great tool for wiping out Wasteland Scourge for sure. If you're looking to add this long-range liberator to your arsenal, you'll need to head towards Cottonwood Cove on the southeastern side of the Mojave. There's a location called the Sniper's Nest overlooking Cottonwood Cove, and in this small camp, there's a footlocker with a very hard level lock. You'll need to pick this lock in order to claim the Gobi Rifle for yourself. The Hunting Rifle is a generic variant of one of the rifles higher on this list. In spite of that, it does 52 damage, of course more than the previous three listed, and is capable of modifications, unlike unique weapons. The three mods that the hunting rifle supports are the custom action which increases the rate of fire by 33%, the extended magazine, and of course, a scope. Another plus to hunting rifles is how common they are, both for repairs and simply obtaining. To find a hunting rifle for yourself, you can get one from most Mojave vendors on occasion, high level fiends, low level super mutants, Cliff Briscoe's bungalow, and many other places. Just keep your eyes peeled and you're sure to find at least one. This machine is a bit of a weird one. Yes, it's powerful at 55 base damage, but the weirdness comes from it being a unique variant of the battle rifle from the Gunrunner's Arsenal expansion. In other words, Obsidian added the weaker variant of this machine in DLC, and the battle rifle is worse in every sense. Damage, fire rate, AP cost, and doesn't even have any modifications. Back to this machine though, its power is something to be reckoned with, so long as you can hit your targets. The reason it doesn't come with a scope is likely due to its glaringly high bullet spread. A bullet spread well above anything else on this list. This machine will help you survive the Mojave nonetheless, but is best suited for mid to close range encounters. Besides, that reload sound is just plain satisfying. To get this machine, you'll need to complete the Dealing with Contreras objective in Camp McCarran. You can do this by heading there, passing through the camp, going into the airport terminal, and taking the long hallway to the Quartermaster's office. You can complete the quest either by taking Boyd's side or Contreras, 
and you'll get this machine to play with either way afterwards. We reached the unique hunting rifle, Paciencia, brought to us with the Gunrunner's Arsenal expansion. The regular hunting rifle mentioned at number 7 has a base damage of 52, whereas Paciencia has 55 base damage. That's not a very big jump in damage, however where Paciencia really shines is in its critical damage. Most weapons in Fallout New Vegas generally do around double their damage on a critical, however Paciencia does three times with its criticals instead. The only thing that would round off this fantastic bolt action would be a scope, but even though it doesn't have one, it's still pinpoint accurate with a bullet spread of .01. If you can aim, you can kill with this rifle. Assuming you have Gunrunner's Arsenal installed, to gain Paciencia, head to Novak and into Cliff Briscoe's shop. He'll be selling it for around 12,000 caps. If Cliff Briscoe is no longer living, you should be able to pick it up at the Vendortron at the Gunrunner's main shop. Next is the signature assassin long arm of our brotherhood pal, Christine's Circle of Steel Silencer Rifle. The Silencer Rifle is part of the Old World Blues expansion. This is the other unique sniper rifle on this list, second to the Gobi Scout Rifle in fire rate, but superior in base damage starting at 62. This is also the only unique sniper rifle that comes with a suppressor to help it execute critical hits more frequently. While on the subject of critical hits, this is also the only rifle that will multiply the player's critical chance by 2.5 as opposed to the regular 2 that all sniper rifles have. The COS silencer rifle runs into similar issues as the Gobi rifle when it comes to maintenance though, because Christine's has even a lower durability. Again, repair kits, jury rigging, or paying vendors for repair will do just fine, but we'd all rather scrap a sniper rifle to repair it, I'm sure. Those of you stealthy couriers will get some great use out of Christine's COS silencer rifle, I assure you. Looking to pick it up? Your starting point will be the whimsical land of Big Mountain in the Old World Blues expansion. If you skip on over to Little Yangtze and clamber up the ruined building to the northeast of it, you'll find Christine's COS silencer rifle leaning against the wall here. Once you do pick it up, be wary of a few lobotomites that spawn nearby, perfect targets for test silencing. The third most powerful rifle in New Vegas might surprise you, it sure did me. It's the brush gun. This heavy lever action carbine has a base damage of 75 and with the right perks, closes the damage gap to the most powerful rifle on this list. The brush gun is loaded with 4570 government rounds, one of the more rare types in New Vegas, but later purchasable in bulk amounts from the Khan Armory and Quartermaster Barton at Hoover Dam. One of the downsides or upsides, depending on who you are, is that the brush gun is a tubular magazine, meaning that you have to reload it one bullet at a time. This is time consuming, but also can be interrupted to continue firing. Again, depending on how you play, this can be a plus or a minus. The brush gun can also be modified with a forged receiver, which increases its condition by 50%. So long as you have a reliable source of ammunition, the brush gun will be as reliable in durability. Because this is another common variant of a gun, there are multiple places you can find it. Alexander at the 188 Trading Post, the Gunrunner's Vendortron, the Great Con Armorers, and even the Hidden Valley Bunker Armory can sell it, among quite a few other locations. We arrive at the strongest lever action rifle in the game, the Medicine Stick. This is the unique feather and bead decorated variant of the previously mentioned brush gun. Its base damage is 78, AP cost is lower, and it can hold more 4570 government rounds than the brush gun. However, the Medicine Stick is also four times the cost in caps to purchase at around 20,000. If this rifle is indeed worth it to you, and it certainly was for me, you can pick it up over at the Gunrunner's Vendortron. Behold! You might have expected this one, but the most powerful rifle in Fallout New Vegas is the Anti-Material Rifle. This bolt-action destructive force of a firearm has a base damage of 110 and uses 50 caliber rounds. The version of the Anti-Material Rifle referred to here is actually the Gunrunner's Arsenal variant, which is capable of using Gunrunner's Arsenal mods that increase its rate of fire, reduce the noise of the rifle, and drops the rifle's weight from 20 to 13 pounds. 
Having a separate mod for weight will tell you that the anti-material rifle is not only quite heavy, but its ammo will take up a large bit of your inventory space as well, if you're playing hardcore, anyway. No doubt it will too, because the anti-material rifle also has a plethora of ammunition, including standard, armor piercing, match, incendiary, and explosive. Another downside is the rarity and cost of its ammunition. Many vendors won't have mountains of 50 caliber ammo, so the game forces you to use your anti-material rifle rifle sparingly, or craft the ammo yourself. Despite the inventory weight and its rarity of ammo, is the anti-material rifle worth it? Absolutely. You can pick up the Gunrunner's Arsenal variant of the anti-material rifle at the Gunrunner's Vendortron, Torres in the Hidden Valley Bunker, or some other merchants at random in the wastes. That is the 10 most powerful rifles when it comes to base damage in Fallout New Vegas, wastrels. A list of rifles with the highest damage per second would look very different from this one. Would you be interested in something like that too? Also, which of these rifles do you enjoy using in the Mojave the most? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this list or want to point out where I messed up, please show that how you see fit. If you'd like to support the channel in continuing being full-time, doing so via Patreon is the best way to do that. And in turn, you'll get immortalized in the end credits, plus a few other perks. Links to the Patreon is here and in the description if you're interested. On that note, thanks to Wasteland Legends fan, and thank you very much for watching. I'm Kato Genesis. May you wander the wasteland like you own it.